In the previous lecture, we finished chapter four, and now we have chapter five, which is the last chapter, and it's about finite automata. Here, we have some best things. We say <clears throat> deterministic, deterministic finite automata, which is denoted by DFA. We do not buy D A F A, which means deterministic finite automata. We say in computer science, we study different types of computer languages, such as basic Pascal, C, and so on. We have many computer programming languages. We will discuss a type of language that can be recognized by special type of machines. A deterministic finite automata, PL automata, is a mathematical model. Is a mathematical model of a machine that accepts languages of some alphabets. <clears throat> okay. Here in deterministic finite automata, we have these things. We say deterministic finite automata is a uh, quintuple. Quintuple means four, sorry, five elements in a set. Five elements in a set is quintuple. Okay. Now we say M equals S capital I Q naught little f s and capital F. Okay. We have these symbols in M. Now we introduce each symbol. S is a finite non-empty set. That means it must not be empty. We must at least have we must have at least one element in S of states here. The set of all states, the set of all states is not by S. It's the set of all states. And I is the input alphabet. It's also a finite non empty set of symbols. That means you must have at least one symbol in I. You must have at least one symbol in I. And Q naught is the initial state. A starting point. Q naught is starting point. It's the initial state. And Fs is a function, is, is the transition function. It is the transition function. And capital F is the set of final states. It's the set of final, final states. Here, for, in, for initial state, we must have only one initial state. But for final state, it's possible if we have more than one final state. It's possible if we have more than one final state. Okay, F is the set of final states. Here, the elements of F must be in S. Okay, and Q naught, which is the initial state, is also in S. S is the set of all states. Among these states, we have initial state and also final states. These are in S, but Q naught is the initial state and F, capital F, is the set of all final states. So it's possible if we have more than one final state. Here we have an example. We say let M equals Q naught, Q1, Q2, 0, 1, Q naught. F S and Q2. Look, comparing to, to, the, to the above one, we have in this order S, I, Q, not F, S, and F. Here yeah, it's S, I, Q, not F, S, and capital F. Look, the first set, the first set, which is Q, not Q, on Q2, is the set of all sets. It's denoted by S. That means here we have three states. We have three states, which are Q0, Q1, and Q2. And I is the set of all inputs. Inputs. Here we have these two input symbols. 
we have these two inputs, which are zero and one. Q naught is the initial state. It means it's starting state. We always start from Q naught. And F is, is a function. So it must be given. Look, the function is defined by this. The function is defined by this. And Q2 is the final state. Q2 is the final state. Here is, is Q0, Q1, Q2. I is, which is the input, 0, 1. F, capital F is Q2. And Q0 is the initial state. But here F is, is noted by this. That means F is for Q0 on 0. Here, 0 and 1 are inputs. We say F is of Q0 on zero, it equals to Q1. In this example, and for others the same. Uh, in this example, we must find the transition table and transition graph. We must find these two. We must find transition table and transition graph. What's the transition table? The transition table can be, uh, can be obtained from the function, the defined function. This is the function. This one is the function which is defined. From this, from this function, we can write down the uh, <clears throat> transition table. Look, in transition table, we have fs, we have fs. And so what are the list of inputs? We have two inputs, which are zero and one. We always put it on the above. The inputs always should be on the above. And the list of all states, which are the elements of S, S as the set of all states, we write down them here. Okay, we write down them all here. What are the list of states? The states are Q0, Q1, and Q2 in this example. We have Q0, Q1, and Q2 which is the set of all states, Q0, Q1, and Q2. We have these three states. We have only these three states. Okay. We have these three states. Okay, now we find the transition function for each of these with each of the inputs. We have two inputs, zero and one. By using this function, which is given, we say F S for Q naught and zero. Look, this is Q naught and this is zero. That means it equals to what? Equals Q one, as you see here. Fs of Q0 and zero is Q1. That means Q0, this is Q0. This is Q0 and this is zero. It equals to Q1, it equals to Q1. And Fs for Q0 and one, Q0 and one. This is Q0 and this is one. It equals to what? Equals to Q naught. Clear? Okay. Alenchi, if is for Q naught to suffer, I got a chana. Q one. Q naught suffer. What the dinner? Am? Khani. Enja. If is for Q naught to yet. I'm a Q naught. I'm a yet. I got chana. Q naught. Let's give it. And also, F is for Q0, Q1, and 0. Q1 and 0. F is for Q1 and 0. It equals to Q2. Look, this is Q1 and this is 0. It equals to Q2. Then, F is for Q1 and 1, Q1 and 1. 
this is Q1 and this is one. This equals to, sorry, it's the above one. It is Q2. Okay, now for Q2, if is for Q2 and zero, Q2 and zero, that equals Q0. That equals to Q0. And if is for Q2 and one equals Q1. This is the transition table. This is how to create the transition table from the defined function, okay? First, you write down the inputs in above and the list of all sets here uh, in the left-hand side of the table. Then you find each of them. F of Q0 and zero is Q1. It's given all, we just write down them. Okay, as you see, if S of Q0 and zero, this is Q0, that's it. And this is zero. That means this, in this, uh, <clears throat> in this space, we must have Q1. Okay, take it slow. We'll, we'll solve some examples this one. And now for drawing the transition graph, for transition graph, we have three states, which are Q naught. This is the initial one. This is Q1. Sorry. And then Q2. Q2 is the final state. It's given that it's the final state. As you see here, it's given that it's the final state. For all, for all the final states, we must have two circles. We must have two circles for the final state, okay? Here, the initial state, is Q0 and the final state is Q2. Now we use these, we use the function to draw the graph. Now we say if S from Q0, if S from Q0 on zero equals Q1. That means from Q0, we can get Q1 on zero. Okay, if the input is zero. And then if is Q naught and one equals Q naught. That means it returns to itself if the input is one. If the input is one, Q naught returns to itself. This is one. Okay, you must write down all the inputs on the edge. If is from Q1 on zero equals Q2. That means Q1 goes to Q2 on zero. Q1 goes to Q2 if the input is zero. And then if S Q1 on one equals two, that means Q1 goes to Q2 on one, on one, Q1 goes to Q2 on one, it's the same. We have that edge, yes, we write down, this, both inputs on, it, on the same edge. Because here we have two arrows from Q1 to Q2. If the input is zero and if the input is uh, one. In both inputs, Q1 goes to Q2. We go from Q1 to go to Q2, from state Q1 to state Q2. And then if S of Q2 on zero equals Q0. That means from Q2, we go to Q0 if the input is zero. Look, from Q2, we return it to Q0 if the input is zero. And if S Q2, if the input is one, 
is Q1. That means you go from Q2 to Q1 if the input is one. This is the transition graph. This is the transition graph and this is the transition table. Okay. This is the transition graph and this is the transition table. Do you get that? It's so easy. And just using the given things. That's the idea. We don't have this example. We have given the set M, which is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. That means here you have four states, Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3. We have four states. And also AB is the input. This is S. This is I. Q0 is the initial or starting point. We always start from Q0. And if S is the function, is the transition function, it's given here. And also Q1 and Q2 are both final states. As I said before, it's possible if you have more than one final state, but you, we must always have only one uh, initial state. Look, <clears throat> here to draw the transition graph for this, Uh, given information, look, how many states do you have? You have four, which are Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3. These are the states. And how many of them, <clears throat> look, among these states, there are initial states and uh, final states also. For the initial state, we have Q0. Q0 is the initial state. So we just make an arrow like this. That means Q0 is an initial state, okay? This means Q0 is an initial state. And how many final states do we have? We have two final states, which are Q1 and Q2. Q2. We make two circles. We draw double circles about the final states. We have two final states, which are Q1. So we must make two circles and Q2. For the final states, we must have two circles. But for the initial state, we just make an arrow like this here. That means it is the starting point. Now we draw the graph. Look, Q naught, Q naught on A goes to Q naught. It returns to itself on A. Okay. Then Q naught. On B goes to Q1. That's all for Q0. Okay, then for Q1. Q1 on A goes to Q0. Q1 on A goes to Q0. This is A. And Q1 on B goes to Q2, goes to itself. Okay. Look, Q1 goes to Q0 on A, if the input is A. But if the input is B, it goes to Q2. So Q1 goes to Q2 if the input is B. Then for Q2, Q2 goes to Q0 if the input is A, Q2 goes to Q0. 
this if the input is A. And Q2 goes to Q3 if the input is B. Now we have only Q3. Q3 goes to Q3. That means it goes to itself if the input is A. And Q3 goes to Q3 again. It goes to itself. If the input is B, that means for A and B, it returns to itself. Okay. This is the transition graph <coughs> for it. Okay. It's easy. I will give him the one. Now I give a table like a yeah put any set of a table is and jet. I'm a tap I wish to learn a bit. I wish I'm a Okay. فلا ما شو هذا تري شيء سبعة سنة. That's it. This is the transition graph or diagram for that DFA, deterministic finite automata. Now we have DFA, which is deterministic finite automata with extended transition function for you. With M to be is I, Q, not F, S, and M. It's the same as the previous, which we talked about. Be a DFA, when I say DFA, I mean uh, deterministic finite automata. And W is an input string. It's an input string. We say W is said to be accepted by M. W is said to be accepted by M. F. F is Q naught and W belongs to capital F. That means the final state of this uh, of W, the final state of W is a final state. Okay, is a final state for M. That means here, let's return to the, here. For example, we say Q naught. We say B. B, A, B. Is this accepted by M or not? Look, if we start from, we always must start from Q naught. We always must start from Q naught. It's starting, it's initial state. We say Q naught. If we start from Q naught. Q naught with B, we get Q1. Okay, B, we get Q1. And Q1 with B, look, this is with A, and this is with B, okay? This is B, it goes to Q2. That means I can B equals Q2. Then A, we have A. Q2 with A, we are turned to Q naught, A, Q naught. Then B, we're then again to Q1. B, Q1. Is this a final state or not? Yes, that's because we have two, two seconds on, about, around it. So this is accepted. This is accepted. If you can find, uh, you know, a series like this, and the final value here, the final state here is the final state for the graph. We say it's accepted by you. If not, we say it's not accepted by you. Okay, here yeah, we talk about that later. That's W. Okay, W is said to be accepted by M. If it belongs to F, capital F. And here, F is star, extended transition function for F. It's <clears throat> the extended transition function for F. We now have this example. 
assess determine whether the input stream A double B is accepted by M or not. This is M. Okay, this is M. Is A double B accepted by M or not? We must always start from Q, from the, uh, I mean, initial, okay? Which of these is the initial one? Look, as we have this arrow, it means Q naught is the initial state. It is the initial state. Let's find ABB on the graph, ABB. So we always start from Q naught. If the input is A, if the input is A, this is Q naught. If the input is A, it returns to itself. Okay. Second, أو سهمان كدرس الحساب هنا كبويد حسابي ناية فمش أي. برا أم أي لشو هاتو بشو. ليو هاتو حساب ناية. Okay. أو كبويد أو كبويد هاد أو كلي درس شو. ليرة أم بأي دي درس شو قرأت بشو. قرأت بخو. So Q not on A is itself. Then we have B. We have B. Then Q naught on B is look. If the input is B for Q naught, it is Q1. If the input is B, it is Q1. Then Q1 on B, again, we have another B. On B, it gets here. If the input is B, we go from Q1 to Q2. Is this a final state? Yes. So you say it's accepted. We can say that's accepted. That's accepted by M because this, this is belong to the graph. And this is the final state on the graph. Okay, so it is accepted by you. It's so easy. We now have this. For this example, we have given A, double B, A, assess, is this input string accepted by this graph or not? Let's see. This is A. <coughs> we always start from Q naught. Q naught with A it returns to itself. It returns to itself. So it's Q naught. Then the second one is B. Q naught on B, it goes to Q1. Then we have B. Again, on B1, on B, Q1 on B goes to Q2. Then A, Q2 on A, look, it goes to Q0. Is this a final state? No. So it's not accepted. You say that's not accepted because we don't get a final state. It's not a final state. That's why it's not accepted. You must get a final state for the last state. We now have this example. For this example, we have given this uh, transition diagram or graph. It says, find the following. What are the states of M? We just write down all the states. How many states do we have? Three, which are Q1, Q1 and Q2. It's a finite state, yeah. See, Q0, Q1 and Q2. These three, here, we, we just write down the states. The vertices, okay? The states. We have three states Q0, Q1, and Q2. 
these are the states. Okay? So this equals to, it's S. S equals to Q0, Q1, and Q2. This is the set of all sets. Now, it says, I write the set of input symbols. Look at the edges. On the edges, we have only two, two different symbols, which are zero and one, okay? So they are the inputs. The inputs are always on the edges, okay? It is zero and one. This is the inputs. And it says, which is the initial state? Which of these is the initial state? Q0 or Q2 or Q3? Which of these is the initial state? Is the starting state? Q0. Q0. As you see, we have this arrow. It means it's like an entrance. So it's starting point. You see, the initial state is Q0. And says, write the set of final states. How many final states do we have here? We have only one final set, which is Q2, because we have double circles around only Q2. Then it says, write the transition table for deterministic finite automata. Let's draw <coughs> the table. This is AFS, okay? This is AFS. We write down the inputs in above. The inputs are zero and one. And the list of states, we write down them beneath FS, which are Q0, Q1, and Q2. Look, Q0 on zero, we return to itself. Look, for Q naught on zero, Q naught on zero, we return to itself. So here we have Q naught, okay? Because Q naught on zero, we must get it itself, okay? <clears throat> and then Q naught on one, is Q1. So here, Q0 on one is Q1. Then for Q1, Q1 on zero, we get Q2. We get Q2. So here we have Q2. And then Q1 on one, we return to self. Okay, then for Q2, on zero, Q2 on zero, we return to Q0. Q2 on zero is Q0. And on one, it goes to Q1. This is the transition table. It's easy. So that's the solution. Let's take a break, then you'll be watching.